It's hard work being a beast But you wanna transition into something that's elite Just to quiet the crowd, put them all in their seats Hey, this is Coach Rod. I am here with Anthony Romanelli. He is our youth ambassador for our Saving Souls for Kids charity. We are here at the corporate offices of Family Legacy. And today we'll be going into the Family Legacy offices to sponsor a child in Zambia so we can give him access to education and basic food and necessities. Let's go check it out. Basketball Skills Academy mm -hmm. called Kingdom Performance, but we also started the charity Saving Souls for Kids because uh, when I went over to Ethiopia, I saw a lot of kids without any shoes and you know didn't have anything. So when I got back, I talked to my partner and said, "Man, we got to do something." So we came up with Saving Souls for Kids, meaning American athletes they get new shoes once a once a month and so they, they've got a lot of shoes stored up in their closet so we uh, we ask them and they donate the shoes in order for us to actually take to third world countries before we connected with uh, family legacy we're like what are we going to do with all these shoes because we we've, we've had a couple of trips go over but that's not enough to really keep it going it's been a blessing for us to connect with Family Legacy in order to um, be able to get the shoes over there to yeah. Zambia. So that's awesome. So oh, that's awesome. here we are. Yeah. What we're going to do is take one of the kids. One of my good friends is uh, Dr. Joe King, and he has a bunch of kids that he has under his um, account, but not all of them are funded yet. So we want to give you guys one of his kids so it'll be really close to me and him. Right, yeah. and this is is this one of the kids that was in your absolutely. So, Family Legacy has been in existence for 17 years. Actually, our CEO was born in a country called Zambia. Uh, he's Caucasian, but um, he, he actually says he's African American. That's one of his little punchlines. <laughs> but uh, Greer Kendall moved back to the United States when he was about six years old. I uh, had the pleasure to go to uh, private schooling while he moved back to Texas. Finished up high school, went to Baylor. Uh, finished Baylor, got into the high, I would say high finance industry and working on uh, family trust. And at the age of 37, I think he had already got to the point where he had achieved a tremendous amount of success. However, he wanted to go back to the country that he was born in, so he uh, decides to go back to Zambia. And once he gets over there, he's in the cab, and there's all these kids that are just running around. And he says to the cabbie, what's going on? Is today a holiday? And they said, no, uh, you don't know. These kids are orphans, they have no place to go. Greer went to the side of a mountain and he heard the word of the Lord that it was his responsibility to take care of all those orphans in the country of Zambia. So he comes back to the United States and he's sitting down with one of his high net worth um, clients. And he's telling them about his trip in Zambia. And the guy pulls out a check for 200 bucks and he says, hey, this is how you start that ministry. And Greer says, hey, I, got to, I really have to do something now. And that's how Family Legacy was born back in the year of uh, 2000. So 17 years later, uh, we have over 14,000 kids in our 22 Christian schools that we have in Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, we have uh, built about, oh, we have 700 kids that are in our Tree of Life Children's Village. I forgot the number of homes that are there. 
56. 56. So we have 56 uh, homes that we built for, for orphans in Lusaka, Zambia. Uh, in addition, I think what makes us unique is the fact that we've also built five hotels to support our program called Camp Life. So every year we take about 700 Americans over to Lusaka, Zambia for a vacation Bible school and those Americans actually have an opportunity to disciple those 10 orphans. The overall purpose is to get those kids sponsored. So by I think October 1st, we like to get all those kids sponsored and into our Legacy Academy. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually sponsor a child through Saving Souls that uh, will sponsor that child throughout our whole charity and organization and ultimately we'd like to sponsor at least three kids, uh, elementary, middle school, and a high school. Lindsay! I'm a sponsorship account manager here. Nice. So I can help you guys set up the sponsorship if you want to come look at the available kiddos over here. All right, so we have Jackson. Um, really, Jackson's available? Yes. Let's do Jackson. Mm. You like Jackson? That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's 11 years that. old, and he will be at the Chienda Legacy Academy, which is one of our brand new schools that is, I think we're finishing building it right now, and it's going to be our kind of model school um, for those kiddos to attend. So we can set up that sponsorship there. So right now, what is Jackson doing? As in, like... So it's as of now he's not funded by anybody. So is well, he, is, we, he isn't attending a school. Or? No, that's a great question. In faith, we enrolled him in school, and so you guys are the answer to that prayer here in funding his sponsorship. And so he actually started at the beginning of January okay. in his new school. And from here, I can tell that he has never been in school before. So this will be his first his first school experience at the age of eleven. They're usually really good at getting. Um, kids at various ages and various education levels caught up. Does he have parents or? Um, I don't see an orphan status on him, so I'm not sure what his family situation is like. All of our kids that are identified to participate yeah. in our program are um, either vulnerable, uh, single orphan or double orphan, Correct. meaning um, they've either lost one parent, both parents, or typically are vulnerable kids. The parents may still be alive, but don't really participate in the child's life. Um, Zambian field staff okay. that live and work in the communities that we work in, and so their job um, around springtime of each year is to go out and identify the most vulnerable children in their area. Uh, the children that need our services the most, the worst of the worst kind of situations. And then those children are brought to Camp Life, and uh, from Camp Life they're sponsored into our program. Mm -hmm. uh, these children would have no access to education outside of our program, and so those are the ones that are identified. This is actually one of my accounts, so you're talking to the right person. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> but I can send a follow-up request to our field staff in the area and request uh, specific details about Jackson. Okay. And then when I receive that back, it usually takes about two weeks or so to get that information. Um, I can let you guys know. Oh. They have one um, hot meal each day at the school and a lot of these kids will eat maybe once a day at home and so um, our meal really supplements that to get them you know the nutrition that they need. Okay. So most of the families in those communities um, the, I think the statistic is still that most families live on less than a dollar a day in yeah. Zambia and so that goes to just basic survival so you know eating maybe one meal a day um, there's not really any access to health care or anything. It's just kind of a survivalist day by day. What do I need to do to get through the day alive? And so um, with the sponsorship in our program, he now has education, yeah. um, Christian discipleship, and the uh, meal. And so it's really enriching his life from just a survivalist mentality to yeah. something that's a lot more um, complex and We'll give him hope for his future. Thank you very much. Yes. Lindsay. Thank you. And is so that much. your is that your child that you sponsor? Actually, this is my kid here. Oh wow. And I I use the term kid very loosely yeah. yeah. because he's twenty one now. He just graduated from high school. I just got back from his graduation. So what would they go on to do after graduation? That's an awesome mm. question. So Mwinda is in our internship program now. He's um 
stationed at the, actually at the Chayanda um, Legacy Academy where Jackson is. And then he also does um, construction work with our team at the Children's Village. Um, and so that just gives him some work experience to put on a resume um, before he kind of launches into adult life. And so we are um, waiting for his grade 12 results, which are kind of like an SAT equivalent. Oh, so they take an exam. Mm -hmm, they take an exam at the end. And depending on how he does, he could go on into higher education. So oh, we're awesome. waiting for those scores and hopefully he'll be able to go on. He wants to be a lawyer or the president and I'm fine with either. So. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay. All Great right. job, Lisa. That's awesome. Thank, thank, you. thank you very you much, so much Thank you. Thank it you very so much. so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank All you right. so much. Uh -huh. Basically what we need to do is send out a newsletter. We want to get the other athletes involved. Do a time to where athletes can come out and help us inventory the shoes and put the shoes together and box them put them in the boxes from boxed up inventory like on a sheet of how many sizes we have and, okay. and all that stuff so you'll know so whoever gets That'd it awesome. what's like a deadline that we need to because uh, you, you guys have some of the boxes already so you right. can um, I would say by Tuesday we can get them to the warehouse okay so will yeah. someone be able to come pick them up there's gonna be three of them there's gonna be all three boxes uh, more possible. than likely yeah I can come and pick them up. Okay. Or two. Yeah, get a U-Haul, get a temporary U-Haul, pick them up and take them to the office. Okay. To, take them to the warehouse. Okay. Yeah.